Evolution of Iago. Aladdin, 1992. In the first movie, Iago, voiced by Gilbert Gottfried, resents living under the Sultan and Jasmine's rulership as much as his owner Jafar does, though he contrasts Jafar's dark brooding with angry, sarcastic ranting. Iago often says how he hates crackers, which the Sultan always force-feeds him. The Sultan seems to not know until the end of the first movie that Iago can fully comprehend and converse in human speech and is evil. In the end, Iago is dragged into Jafar's lamp with him at the end of the movie and is banished to the Cave of Wonders. The Return of Jafar, 1994. In the second movie, Iago manages to escape from the lamp but refuses to free Jafar, having grown tired of being ordered around, and instead throws him into a well. After returning to Agrabah, Iago is confronted by Aladdin, but inadvertently ends up saving him from Abis Mal and his henchmen. In gratitude, Aladdin takes Iago back to the palace, and convinces the Sultan to give him a second chance. Iago slowly begins warming up to Aladdin, but Jafar also returns to Agrabah, having been freed by Abis Mal, and tricks Iago into conspiring with him to frame Aladdin for the Sultan's murder and have him executed while Aladdin's friends are locked in the dungeon for life. Iago initially goes along with it, but turns against Jafar and again saves Aladdin by freeing the genie, who saves Aladdin from being executed. In the final battle against Jafar, Iago is severely injured by one of Jafar's blasts, but manages to kick Jafar's lamp into the molten lava, destroying it and Jafar once and for all, while he is taken to safety by Aladdin. From the Sultan's wrath, in return for Iago unintentionally saving him from Abis Mal, and finally risking his life to kill Jafar by pushing his lamp into molten lava. Following his heroic deed, he is accepted into the palace. Aladdin, the series, 1994. In the series, Iago provides a sarcastic, realistic, or cowardly perspective on events, and is only really willing to face danger if a great reward is promised. However, Iago does often provide assistance for the group, in the episode The Citadel, being its second best versed in magic, whenever Genie is unable to provide knowledge on certain magicians or artifacts. Also, Iago can usually convince Abu to be his partner in crime, but Abu is more likely to leave at the first sign of danger, and often lacks the finesse that Iago requires. He cares a lot about Abu, as shown in several episodes, such as Much Abu About Something. Aladdin and the King of Thieves, 1996. Iago helps out with Aladdin and Jasmine's wedding, as well as aiding Aladdin to find his estranged father, Qasim, who happens to be the king of the Forty Thieves. Acting on behalf of Aladdin, Iago convinces Qasim to attend the wedding, promising that he will help him get the hand of Midas. In the end, although the Sultan pardoned him from the sentence of life imprisonment for his complicity with the King of Thieves, Iago chooses to depart from Agrabah for some time with Qasim instead of staying with Aladdin and Jasmine on the grounds that he could not handle the lovey deve stuff, though he briefly breaks down in tears while telling Qasim, implying he will miss them dearly. He also points out that Qasim's sense of theft is more in line with his own. Mickey's Magical Christmas, Snowed In at the House of Mouse, 2001. Iago appears right before and during the club's Christmas transformation. House of Mouse, 2001. In the episode, Thanks to Minnie, Iago was a part of a music group called The Parrots of the Caribbean and performed the song A Parrot's Life for Me. In the episode House of Magic, Daisy accidentally made the club and all its guests disappear and being that Iago and Jafar were late, they lent their magical abilities to bring the club and its guests back. In the episode, Donald Wants to Fly, Iago volunteered to go to Neverland to find Peter Pan and the Lost Boys, as they were late for their special guest appearance in that evening's show. Mickey's House of Villains, 2002 Iago appears as one of the many villains to take over the club, informing the villains that every year on Halloween they just sit around and think of evil acts instead of doing them, giving Jafar his idea to take over the club. Disney Princess Enchanted Tales, Follow Your Dreams, 2007 Iago appears as a supporting character who returned from the journey with Qasim. During her portrait session, Iago and Jasmine perform the song More Than a Peacock Princess as Jasmine tires of her dull princess lifestyle. Later on, the horse of Jasmine's deceased mother disappears, leaving Jasmine to go on a search. Before she does, she attempts to find out who let the horse named Sahara out, 
and upon finding a fig, the favorite snack of Abu, Jasmine immediately begins to question the monkey. Iago joins her in the courtroom-esque drama and repeatedly interrogates Abu into revealing the truth. When Abu confesses, Jasmine takes it upon herself to find the horse, though Iago is openly doubtful about the situation. He eventually decides to join Jasmine, Abu, and Carpet, believing he'll witness a humorous failure. Aladdin on Broadway, 2014 Iago appears in the stage adaptation of the movie. However, unlike his movie counterpart, he is portrayed as a human by Don Daryl Rivera, working as a personal assistant of Jafar. As told by Emoji, 2015, an emoticon version of Iago briefly appears in the short series, seen stealing Genie's lamp and handing it to Jafar immediately after Aladdin and Jasmine's magic carpet ride. Once Upon a Time, 2016, Iago appears in season 6 of this ABC series. However, this version is a non-anthropomorphic red cockatiel, as opposed to a lorry. Aladdin, 2019. Iago appears in the live-action remake, voiced by Alan Tudyk. While his role remains the same and he still shows signs of sentience and a cynical sense of humor, he is notably less anthropomorphic than his animated counterpart as the movie wanted to make Iago more realistic. This still manages to leave only a few plot-related deviations. He appears in Jafar's lair in the castle dungeon. After Jafar talks to the Sultan, Iago mimics Jafar, saying, Remember your place, after which Jafar threatens the bird if he says it again. Iago then spots Aladdin sneaking into the palace and alerts his master. Also, he has a rivalry with Abu calling him a dirty monkey twice and asking a captured Aladdin about the Capuchin's whereabouts. Lagos was later enlarged and piloted by Jafar in order to retrieve the lamp from Aladdin, Jasmine, and Abu. He succeeds only for a mere moment before being transformed back to a normal parrot, though he succeeds again with Jafar's help. Lego Disney Princess, The Castle Quest, 2023 Iago, voiced by Barrett Letty, appears as a minor villain, serving as the cold-hearted captain of a crew of pirates. Accompanied by a hook-handed henchman, Iago and his goons plunder an island full of treasure. Among them is the magic carpet, who is then imprisoned in the brig. Ariel and Moana attempt to free the carpet, but are confronted by Iago. Just as the parrot prepares to kill the princesses, Ariel uses a cannon to blast a hole into the ship causing it to sink. Iago abandons his crew, declaring that the captain's job is for the birds. Once Upon a Studio, 2023. Iago, voiced by Peter Michael, makes a speaking appearance in this short movie, where he's seen alongside Jafar watching as Goofy tries to figure out how to work the camera while on top of the ladder. He'd later be seen in the group photo.